There's Skyrim. And there's the dragon that we will soon come up against. There he goes. Looks like he's gone for good this time. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. This My is... sister, Gerda, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. I'm sure she would. It's probably help. best if we split up. So this is... Without your help today. Look, shut up, I'm trying to talk here. So this is the point at which I can go anywhere, do anything. Uh, the map, this is the world map, it was extended a little bit. Let me try and zoom out as far as I can, that is as far as I can. That is where the dragon attacked, we've gone through the mountains and come out the other end. And that is where we're going, to Riverwood. Um, I haven't actually been to that place, even on my other playthrough yet, I haven't been to Falkreath. There's White Run. Windhelm, Winterhold, I like that town, it's a shame that uh, I don't think there is a, a house you can buy in Winterhold, which is a damn shame because I like that village. Um, Riften, the home of the Thieves Guild, which we will cover at some point. Markarth, Morthal, Solitude, which is the home of the most expensive house. Dawnstar, which I haven't been to either yet on my normal playthrough. A single player one. But the first time I did this, I did follow this bloke. Um, I'm not going to do that this time, I'm just going to bugger off, leave him to it. Um, and of course, any other normal person would follow the path, but the tough man is not normal. Right, and I'm, I've got to say this before people comment on this. There is some. Um, like standing stones down there and I'm going to actually find them and get them on the map but I'm not going to select one and there is a reason for this um, right when you pick a standing stone you level up that set of skills quicker so say for, a war say for instance I am a warrior I'm going to be a warrior class um, there's the stones and you can pick them you can pick them, you can level up, level up them skills quicker. Well, I'll show you. Combat skills 20% faster. However, I'm not going to do that. Because um, that is for, imp for impatient people. I'm planning to do a lot on this. So I don't really need that. You know, I will get there at some point and I will just amble along at my own pace. Uh, I don't want to level up too quick and then end up with like proper hard people to face. So. Right, this is the Embershard mine that we've found. Bandit straight away there. Oh, oh. I do apologise for that. Did that hurt? Gold lockpick. Iron mace, iron shield. I'll tell you what would be a good idea actually. Now I've found this place, it would be a good idea to just to go to that. Um, that town, go to Riverwood and sell the stuff that I've got to give myself a bit more money and to give myself more weight to be able to carry so I'm going to booger off over there actually um, I think that's a good idea always pick shit up along your way as well like these, these bulls, fuck, get here them things you know, you never know when things can come into some sort of use I mean when, when you've bought a house it's much easier. I, I buy a house as soon as I possibly can for the pure ease of storage. Uh, it's just the way that I played. I played Oblivion the exact same. I'm, I'm a hoarder. Uh, I like to keep you know like items as, as long as I possibly can. Um, unfortunately I need to get 5,000 gold first to get myself a house and then I need the respective coin to be able to buy myself some stuff in this house but that's I'm going to be trying to get that money straight away um, by selling, you know, random, random stuff. I'll not be selling anything special, you know. If if something's enchanted or if something's worth quite a bit, I will not be selling that. If I know that. Shut up, woman. Sit down, mother. 
if I know that I can't get hold of that item readily, I will not be selling it. It's as simple as that. Cheers. What do you want? What do you pick up there? Oh, I wish I saw that first. You're so lucky. What? Well, you can have a cabbage, love. I don't give a shit. I don't even want the fucking thing. I just wanted to sell it. So here's the Riverwood Trader. The first stop you should always go to when you're uh, on this way. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are mm. done talking about steel, this. Steal, 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 oh. steal, steal. When you actually do... Sorry, you had to hear that. Yeah, whatever. When you do the mission for this guy, there is certain items within the shop that you can actually just take. And it, it really makes me laugh, because you can, you can pick them up and then sell them back to him. Like that makes sense. Anyway, let's have a look at my apparel. So that helmet actually is worse than the one that I've got on at the minute, so I'll just leave that on. Let's see. Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. I know. Yeah, let's, let's get the quest from this guy first. We did have a... We did have a bit of a breaking move. Lovers were only after one thing. An ornament. Solid gold for the shop. Yeah, one of them was in the shape of a dragon's claw. I can help you, you get it back. I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. That we will do. We're going to get those thieves. You should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. And I will be doing that at some point as well, but not now. Find the claw. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. A bit of this, bit of that. Right. Let's sell the shit that I don't need. The iron dagger I'll never use. Great swords I will never use. Two-handed weapons. I've got three maces. I don't need them. Uh, I only need the one. The war axe is worse than the mace, so I won't be using that. It is slightly faster as the axe though than the mace, but never mind. Uh, steel dagger, keep the bow. Uh, Imperial sword, sell that off. Foot wraps, fur boots, all this kind of stuff. But you can see his gold on the bottom right. Fur gauntlets. Well, that it's worth 24 a piece. That and early on in the game, that's quite a lot of of, of coin. And they're worse than the stuff that I've got at the minute, so it's worth selling everything you possibly can. Increases in magic. Now I'm not gonna be a magic person, so I really want to keep them though for the enchanting side of things. But even so, I won't need magic or enchantment. Is it worth selling on? Let's get rid of the other ones first. So I've got 415 gold. You know, I'm nowhere near getting to that. But the weight of it is only one weight. So I may as well keep hold of that. Uh, potions. I tend not to use potions apart from uh, healing ones. So a poison, I mean, you, you can stick it on your weapon, but I don't know if it does much in these early early levels if it's worth keeping them so I mean I always sell stuff that I find apart from the healing magic I don't need and the stamina I keep as well so as you can see I've leveled up I'll keep the food no I won't I'll sell the food I'll sell all that shit so he's only got 410 left Now this book you can find everywhere, but I'm going to keep, I'm, this is what I'm aiming to do on this playthrough, is get a copy of every single book. And uh, it's just because I, I like to hoard things, I like, I like it, so I'm going to keep them. Bear pelts, keep them, because uh, that will come in useful for smithing. So that's me done with him. And I do actually have a spell that I haven't learned. So let's get that learned. Just select it. Yeah, there you go. New new spell learned. Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guy. No. I, I shut up. No. I'm gonna go back to that curve. The curve over here. I'm gonna fast travel as well because I'm like that. I can't be asked. 
our first little dungeon, and it is quite an easy one, I must say. Like I said, you can do anything. As soon as you come out of that cave, you can go anywhere, you can do anything. And that is what I love about these games. Uh, so give me all your stuff, because I am about to start hoarding things quite dramatically here. So the one that I want to keep, what is it now? Beast McGowan. Right, that one. So what have I got? Have I only got two saves? Oh yeah, because I've just really started, haven't I? So. Keep four rolling saves, that's my uh, my tip to you. You can keep more than that, I've got God knows how much in my first playthrough. You know, just in case you get to a point where you get stuck and you think, well, I can't beat this guy and he's constantly beating me down and you know, I can't escape, I'm in the right fucking pickle. You can always load a, a, a save further back. Uh, I'm going to level up actually in my next level as well, in my next video. 